we have a set W and we're being asked if it is a subspace of R cubed. So over here I've written down what it means for a set W to be a subspace of a vector space V. So there's three conditions. The first one says that our set W is non empty. The second one says that for all vectors X and Y in W, the sum is also in W. This is called closure under vector addition. And the third condition says that for any vector x in W and any scalar in our field, here our field is the real numbers, the vector Cx is in W. This is called closure under scalar multiplication. So if all three conditions are satisfied, then we say that W is a subspace of V. Now I haven't done this problem yet, but I really think this is not going to be a subspace because of this here. This is very, very suspect. So what we'll do is we'll carefully go through the three conditions and try to violate one of them. So let's start with condition one. So is W non-empty? Well, I think there's a vector there, so I don't think condition one is going to help us because zero, zero, zero is in W. And this is because zero is equal to zero squared. So here, this is our A and this is our B and this is our C. So what does it mean to be in W? It means that A is equal to B squared. But that means zero is equal to zero squared. So that's true. So uh, this guy here is certainly in W. So we can't use the first condition uh, to show it's not a subspace. I think that the second condition should work. So to violate the second condition, all we have to do is carefully come up with two vectors that are actually in W whose sum is not in W. So I'm gonna have to think here because I haven't done this. So let's come up with two vectors that are in W. So what does it mean to be in W? It means that A is equal to B squared. So if I write a number here down, rather if I write a B here, I have to square it to get A. So let's say I put a two here for the second component. So that's our B. So A has to be the square of that. So four, and then I'll put a one here. So this guy is in W because, again, this is A, B, C. So four, that's our A, is equal to B squared. So that's our B is two. So four is equal to two squared. So that guy is there. Let's do it again. So let me put a three here this time. And again, I'll put a one here. And how do I get this guy? Well, this is B, C. So A goes here and it's equal to B squared. So nine and that's in W, and this is because A, well what's A? A is 9, and that's equal to 3 squared, and B is 3. So both of these guys are in W, and now the question is, is the sum in W? Well, I certainly hope not. <laughs> I don't think it will be. So then, then 4, 2, 1, plus, let's see, 9, 3, 1. Well, how do we add these vectors? Just in the usual way, we add the corresponding components. So 4 plus 9, that's going to be uh, 13. 2 plus 3, it's going to be 5. And then 1 plus 1 is uh, 2, right? And the question is, is this in W? Well, if this is in W, then we have to have A equal to B squared, right? So let's see, this is A, this is B, and this is C. So is it true that 13 is equal to 5 squared? No, it's not. So this is not in W because a, which is 13, is not equal to b squared. So it's not equal to 5 squared. So we have two vectors in w whose sum is not in w. So this is not closed under vector addition. So there is no way this can be a subspace. So it's not a subspace. So I hope that made sense. I thought this was a pretty good example. We had to think here uh, a little bit uh, to get it to work. I hope that made sense.